in this video, we'll cover the Newton-Raphson method of root finding. Previously, we learned the graphical and bisection methods. The Newton-Raphson method, sometimes called Newton's method, is another root finding technique. The algorithm relies on a single starting point and the derivative of the function to find the root. One of the biggest drawbacks to the method is that it can diverge. As we'll see later on, the location of the starting point can determine the algorithm's success. Bisection was referred to as a closed method because it requires an initial interval which bracketed the root. On the other hand, Newton-Raphson is known as an open method because you only need to provide the algorithm with one starting point. In general, Newton-Raphson tends to be faster than bisection, but you run the risk of divergence. That's the price you pay for a faster algorithm. This method also exhibits more interesting behaviors than bisection, which we'll briefly discuss. Finally, Newton-Raphson exhibits quadratic convergence. That is, the error in the current iteration is proportional to the square of the error from the previous iteration. The number of significant figures of accuracy approximately doubles with each iteration. This is one of the major reasons why this method is so popular. From a high-level perspective, the Newton-Raphson method uses the starting guess and the first derivative to deduce the root. First, we need to input an initial guess xi and compute the derivative of f of xi. Starting from the initial guess, we trace the derivative down to the x-axis. Then, we sample the function at that point to obtain our root estimate. We repeat this process until we capture the root within our specified stopping criterion or tolerance. Keep in mind that you can choose to stop iterating based on whether you express your error in terms of x or f of x. One approach is to compute the relative change between the most recent iterations of the root. Another approach is based on the absolute value of the function evaluated at the root. The Newton-Raphson method is much easier to understand visually. Let's say we want to find the root of this unknown function f of x. Our initial guess is shown on the graph as xi. At xi, we draw the tangent to the curve and extend that tangent until it hits the x-axis. This is where we assume the root is. Let's call this point x of i plus 1. We need to check if it's within our tolerance, which in this example is based on whether the absolute value of the function evaluated at the root estimate is sufficiently close to zero. We evaluate the absolute value of the function at this new point. For generality, I didn't put any numbers on the graph, but we can assume that f of x of i plus 1 does not meet the stopping criterion, so we have to repeat this process. We just found x of i plus 1, but we need to iterate again because it's unsatisfactory. We need to ride the tangent all the way down to the x-axis until we hit our next root estimate, x of i plus 2. We see that this new point is much closer to the actual root. Let's assume that this time we meet our stopping criterion so we can say that we found the root. We looked at Newton-Raphson visually, but now let's look at it mathematically. From the definition of a slope, we have the slope equals f of x of i minus f of x of i plus 1 all over x of i minus x of i plus 1. Because we follow the tangent line down to the x-axis, f of x of i plus 1 equals 0. If we want to solve for x of i plus 1, all we have to do is rearrange this equation. When we do so, we get the Newton-Raphson formula. To summarize, the formula approximates f of x by the straight line that is tangent to the curve at x of i. x of i plus 1 lies at the intersection of the x-axis and the tangent line drawn at x of i. As I mentioned earlier in the video, the Newton-Raphson method can diverge because the tangent line is not always an acceptable approximation of the function. This is an example of a function coupled with a poor initial guess which will cause Newton-Raphson to diverge. The best way to explain this is by showing a few iterations, so let's start with our initial guess, x of i. We ride the tangent to the x-axis and guess that our new root is x of i plus 1 is here. Obviously, this isn't the true root, so we construct the next tangent at this point and then ride that down. But we're clearly heading away from the real root, and we will probably continue to do so with every iteration. If we had chosen x sub i to be closer to the root, we probably would converge. This is why you should always plot the function beforehand. Plotting enables you to pick an initial guess which has a high probability of convergence. Plotting does require some trial and error, but it's a small price to guarantee convergence and essentially nullify one of the major drawbacks of this method. Here's another pitfall. From the Newton-Raphson equation, we have a fraction. Obviously, this will fail if the derivative equals zero, so you need to make sure this never happens in any iteration. 
To obtain the next root estimate, you trace the tangent line down until it hits the x-axis. But if the derivative is zero, the tangent line is horizontal, so you can't trace the derivative down to the x-axis. Another interesting behavior is when the algorithm ends up cycling around a point. This usually occurs when the root is very close to or is the function's inflection point. For example, try applying the newton raphson method to the function x cubed minus 5x with an initial guess of 1. The algorithm will cycle between negative 1 and 1 infinitely due to the geometry of the function in concert with the initial guess. Once again, this can be avoided by choosing an initial guess closer to the root. Excluding the graphical method, you now have two root finding methods under your belt, bisection and newton raphson Which one should you choose? Here are some points which may help you pick a method. I would pick bisection if you prioritize convergence over the rate of convergence. Bisection will always converge, but it might be slow. Bisection is also good if you don't exactly know how the derivative will behave, because you don't need to worry about a division by zero error in bisection. On the other hand, I would pick newton raphson if I wanted to quickly find the root since it's generally faster than bisection. If I know ahead of time that the derivative is relatively easy to compute, I would also use newton raphson especially if I know I won't get a division by zero error. Personally, I prefer the newton raphson method because of its speed, although you may have a different opinion. Regardless of which method you use, you should get the same answer. To summarize, the newton raphson method is riskier, but offers greater rewards compared to the bisection method. You only need to supply one initial guess, but you also need to calculate the derivative in each step. Therefore, you should avoid this method if the derivative of the function cannot be readily computed. Although newton raphson is prone to division by zero errors and the possibility of divergence, these issues can be resolved by plotting the function and picking a smart initial guess. See you next time.